California is currently in a state of crisis with 161,000 people without homes and takes one-fifth of the country's total population of homelessness. If this worried you, you may be thinking what can we do to fix this and what's Santa Clarita doing to help the crisis? Deputy Luis Valle, the local coordinator for the Homeless Outreach Program in Santa Clarita, shares his critical role in tackling the homeless crisis. Our main purpose is to provide these people experiencing homelessness help. Whatever it may be, either it's finding a job, finding a place to live, food, or some type of shelter. That's our main goal. Everybody has different uh, challenges. Mm -hmm. and that's where it comes just to where we gotta, what do we got to do to help them. For those who accept the services and are seeking help, they are brought to a shelter. A nonprofit organization, Bridge to Hope, is the only shelter found here in Santa Clarita. This shelter focuses on providing services that will help people sustain a living with housing, through mental health support and training. To talk about the organization is the director of programs, Amari Peterson. The goal is not only to get the person into housing, but it's also that they keep their housing. Mm -hmm. And part of keeping their housing is giving them that supportive uh, service with um, helping them figure out what their budget is. Um, and so I think having sort of what we see as wraparound services, um, having that sort of wraparound support um, only makes it better for somebody in the long run because they're learning the skills that they need to be able to keep their stable housing rather than just returning to homelessness. Bridge to Hope usually provides clients with a stable and comfortable daily schedule. Well, a lot of our clients are enrolled into programs at COC, um, and so they go to school. Um, there's other programs that are running during the day from support groups to other activities that happen so that the clients feel that they don't have to just sit around all day. Um, and then, of course, there's a dinner that usually is uh, provided through volunteers and um, donations in our community. Reporting for Canyons News, this has been Andrea Pride.